get fit and healthy. It's time to talk about nutrition. Nutrition for your body, your mind, your spirit. It's time to talk about proper exercise, stress relief, eating well, and supplementation to help. Get ready to take charge of your health because your health is your wealth and the wealth of those who care about and love you. It's time for Let's Talk Nutrition with Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Thanks for tuning in. Get the hair out of my face so you can see it. <laughs> yeah, if you're watching the show, I hope you had a wonderful weekend. And uh, here we go again. Off to a uh, new week. Steven's got a red hat on today. Gary has his hair parted. Looks like he's going to go make his first communion. I have to laugh. What's up with that, brother? Uh, I, haven't, I didn't put my headphones on yet, and that's why they're it's neatly nice parted. <laughs> We need to get you on camera. His hair is neatly. It looked like one of those. Pic, my first communion picture. I had my hair. I remember. I remember this. I do. I do. People say, "Oh, you don't remember?" Yes, I do. Uh, I had my little suit. It was from Robert Hall. It was blue and um, navy blue. It was beautiful, dark navy blue. And my hair. My mom really. It was looked like it was wet. And but she you parted have, it. You have good hair. You're like me. You have good hair. Well, you have you you have, you have hair like a bear, brother. My I have my dad's hair. And, uh, thick. It's, thick. Yeah, it's very sick. Yeah, it looks like he's making his first communion. Got to love it. Did you have uh, a good weekend? Huh? Did you have a good weekend? Pretty good. I I, I worked, and um, some of it's in your hands. You're reading. We, we both worked over the weekend. Yeah. I, <laughs> During this show, that's what happens. You being uh, single though, you don't get yelled at like I do though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That, although being alone is, um, it has its drawbacks. Well, and, about eating alone, I think we can talk about that, right? Well, nice, not very clever, my friend. See that? I nice, got there. And, nice and clever. I got there. I got there. <laughs> eating alone. We'll, we'll mention that a study about eating alone. They have a, they have a recommendation. I'm not so persuaded that I would do it. And the recommendation has something to do with yourself. <laughs> I'll explain. You can go at any point in the show, no matter how serious or maybe off the chain it may be, you can call the show and please do. You can reach us at 877-897-8255 or at Dr. Garko at Let's Talk Nutrition dot com. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All one word. Let's talk nutrition. And uh, you yeah, have an app. We do. We do have an app. It's uh, five dollars off thirty five at Vitamin Discount Center online. Uh, online. VDCUSA dot com. Yeah, we have that app. And then with that app, though, he, Fernando told me we're going to upgrade the app. Yeah, Next. Fernando is a young man. He's never been in the studio. We'll have to drag him in here. So I don't know if we can He's get that. Shy. He is shy. We get Fernando and uh, Joe's been in here. Uh, Joe might come on ca on on camera and on mic. Uh, they're the they're the boys that work in the i. They're men, but they're the boys. Yeah, that work in the IT department where let's talk nutrition, and they're good. They're smart. They they're like the engineers around here. They solve problems. Go ahead. He uh Joe has his postings. I said you know you told me Joe's a triathlete, so I went into his office, and he has his postings of his finish times. Yeah. And like one of them is like he did he did one in like five hours. I'm like I can't even stay awake for five hours. And, I know, and just it's amazing. We have some nice nice people involved with the show. I like to bring them on and take them out of the shadows, so to speak, and recognize them uh, because they're they're terrific people and they do good work. It takes a lot of effort to put this show on the air. You'd be surprised. People think, oh, you just walk in and you know, no. Stephen keys the mic and you and you talk try this sometimes sit down pretend there's a microphone in front of you and go ahead and see what happens um i spent my time over the weekend i was working and i was doing some research uh getting ready to write an article on really i guess the the driving principle of this show is that nutrition is the first principle of health diet food and so i was looking at some new studies there's a new study out published in um jama 
Journal of the American Medical Association. And there was a study back in 2015 published in Lancet. They're both similar in that <clears throat> diet gets implicated heavily. In the JAMA study, Journal of the American Medical Association, it was reported, and uh, it was reported back in March. I didn't have a chance to get to it because there's other things going on. And I set it aside knowing that I somewhere down the road I wanted to share it with you to underscore what may seem patently obvious to some, but yet not practiced by many. And that is a healthy diet. It is oh, it's so cliche to say that. Nevertheless, uh, in this journal, the American Medical Association, um, they did an analysis of 700,000 cardiometabolic related deaths back in 2012. And that include deaths from coronary, hypertensive, and other forms of cardiovascular disease. That's why they called it cardiometabolic, as well as from stroke, Type 2 diabetes, that's where the metabolic comes in. Check this out. 45% were related to specific dietary habits. And the headline was nearly half. They reported, I think that's stretching at your five points away. I wouldn't report it that way. But the headline on this one source that we looked at, nearly a deadly diet, half of U.S. deaths from cardiometabolic causes linked to dietary habits. Hmm. And Dr. Renata Mika said, quote, and it wasn't just too much bad in the American diet. It is also not enough good. She was the lead investigator. She's at Tufts Friedman School of Nutrition Science and Policy. Very good, very good outfit. She went on to say, and I'm, I didn't fall out of the chair with shock when she said it, quote, Americans are not eating enough fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, whole grains, vegetable oils, or fish. I would take issue with the vegetable oils. I'll come back to that in a minute. <clears throat> Americans are overeating salt, <clears throat> pardon me, processed meats, and sugary sweetened beverages. She continued, this is especially true of men, young adults, blacks and Hispanics, and people with lower levels of education, close quote. I'm good with all that she said, except the vegetable oils. They're not getting enough vegetable oil? What are you, serious? That's the last thing I would tell people to eat. Vegetable oils? We're swimming in vegetable oils. It's, people are eating so many, it's coming out of their ears. They're consuming so many. She said, Americans are not eating enough fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds, whole grains, vegetable oils, or fish. Really, Dr. Mika, why would, when you look at the, when you look at the literature, Vegetable oils are one of the contributing causes to coronary artery disease. They damage the endothelium. I can cite, let's see, that's, that's uh, Dr. Esselstyn, Dr. Greger, Dr. Barnard, Dr. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, McDougal. Mc, thank you, Dr. McDougal. Vegetable oils, I, I'll have to go find the study. They looked at how much vegetable oil we're consuming. Remember this conversation, Doc, when we were talking about that, the lard? Oh, mantica. That's lard. People cook with that product. Cooking with lard. No, 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 no. The endothelium is subject to damage. That's the lining of your arteries. You're only as old as your arteries. And you can look just fine... But you know what? Maybe not so much on the inside. Come back, I'm going to share more. I, I can't get over this. Vegetable oils? Not around here. I won't tell you to do that. 
You aren't. <laughs> You're listening to Let's Talk Nutrition. No vegetable oils, coast to coast. Have you experienced the wisdom of nature with Zyflamend Whole Body from New Chapter? Zyflamend is a tenor blend that delivers three health benefits. First, Zyflamend is an herbal approach to pain relief, helping to soothe minor pain or soreness. Second, Zyflamend is a joint supplement with time-tested herbs to support joint function and flexibility. And the third benefit, Zyflamend supports the body's healthy inflammation response, something that's essential for maintaining whole body health. Zyflamend is New Chapter's clinically tested blend of 10 remarkable herbs, including pure and potent turmeric, ginger, and green tea. Zyflamend is non-GMO project verified, gluten-free, and 100% vegetarian. New Chapter is a leader in supplement quality. Every ingredient, every product, every time. Discover Zyflamen, New Chapter's number one selling multi-herbal. Zyflamen is made with ginger for occasional pain relief after exercise. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. As a family-owned company since 1968, Now Foods has spent the last 46 years building a legacy in the natural health industry as a trusted leader. Now provides a comprehensive approach to wellness by offering more than 1,400 high-quality health foods, supplements, sports nutrition, and personal care products at an affordable price. Now believes that natural is better. They don't use artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners, and they offer many vegetarian, organic, and gluten-free products. Their foods are all non-GMO. Since their beginning, Now has grown to become an award-winning leader in the natural health industry. But one thing has never changed, their commitment to providing the highest quality products at the best value to empower people to lead healthier lives. High quality doesn't have to mean high price. From essential oils to amino acids, multivitamins to natural sweeteners, Now has you covered. To find a store near you that carries Now products or for more information, visit nowfoods.com. That's nowfoods.com. When you're passionate about your health, that passion leads to the knowledge that exercise and a healthy diet are not always enough. Sometimes you need the extra nutritional boost that only supplements can provide. If you are looking for the leading national brands of vitamins, supplements, health, and beauty, weight loss, or sports nutrition products, look no further than Vitamin Discount Center. Voted Best Independent Chain by Vitamin Retailer Magazine, Vitamin Discount Center has been a trusted and valuable nutrition resource to the Tampa Bay area for over 15 years. With daily savings up to 50%, Vitamin and Discount Center offers the best prices on the highest quality nutritional supplements. Not only will you find unbeatable value, your visit includes access to a staff educated on the application of products to help equip you with the products and information you need to proactively improve your health. To locate the store nearest you, visit vitamindiscountcenter.com as well as access to articles on popular health topics, promotions, events, and thousands of products to shop from right at home. Your search for an affordable solution to better health is finally over. Vitamin Discount Center. For life Life for less. Feel tired, lethargic, or irritable? Take solace. You're one of millions of Americans that has trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. In fact, according to a national survey, 54% of adults have trouble sleeping. So what can you do about it? Take Solace. Solace is an all-natural dietary supplement formulated to support healthy sleep and relaxation. Solace can help you fall asleep and stay asleep naturally. Formulated with all-natural ingredients, Solace is not addictive and won't leave you feeling groggy in the morning. Take Solace an hour before bed and feel the calming effects of this extensively researched sleep and relaxation aid. For more information on Solace, call toll-free 877-533-7066 or visit takesolace.com. That's 877-533-7066 or take solus.com. Look for Solace in your local health and nutrition store. Solace for a good night's rest naturally. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Alga Life, Algae for Life, CV Sciences, From Seed to Shelf, New Chapter, The Benefit of Nature's Wisdom, NeoCell, The True Science of Collagen, Yerba Prima, Pioneers in Internal Cleansing, Form Essentials, Makers of the Sleep Aid Solace, now introducing Zinnia for healthy hair, skin, and nails. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. A Deadly Diet. Hmm. Wow. 
This is uh, was a study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. Dr. Uh, Renata Mika was the lead researcher. And, uh, you know, she's right. We're not eating enough fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds, whole grains and fish if you eat meat. And she said vegetable oils. The reason why she said vegetable oils, because those are the polyunsaturated. That being said, it's supposed to be a healthier option. <laughs> We're not eating enough, huh? How about this? Edible oils in the United States in 2016. What I have here, according to a report, it's from the, um, oh, I'm looking to see the, the outfit that did it, the study. I'll get it. U.S. domestic soybean consumption amounted to, are you ready? 9.3 million metric tons in 2016. Canola, 2.4 million metric tons. Palm oil, 1.2 or 1.3 million metric tons. Wow. Coconut oil is down there following, then goes down. 529, olive oil, 316, cotton seeds, sunflower, peanut oil. I mean, 529,000 metric tons for co coconut oil. 316,000 metric tons for olive oil. We're not getting enough vegetable oils? Are you serious? We could put swimming pools in the backyard, in every yard with all that, with all that oil. Some would say that it's been the demise of our health. I don't know. I, I'm supply and demand is there. We got a lot of demand. There's a lot of supply. No danger of vegetable oils disappearing. That was those were supposed to be the alternative to. Crisco, lard, and butter, and other things that people cook with. Up where you live, that they still use lard. Still use lard, almost in everything. Yeah. Unbelievable. I don't know. I'm just saying. There uh, is a. There's a. It's funny that you say that, Doc, because um, Sunday morning we were going to go. We were going to breakfast, and we actually woke up late. We didn't go. But a place that's around the corner from us, they have a big old griddle. And on that griddle, next to that griddle, is bacon grease and lard that they cook with. This study was published in the Journal of, Medical, Medical, Amer, um, Journal of the American Medical Association in January. The 10 foods and nutrients included fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, whole grains, unprocessed red meats, processed meats, sugar-sweetened beverages, polyunsaturated fats, that would be the vegetable oils, seafood, omega-3 fatty acids, and sodium. The optimal intake of these dietary factors was based on observer in, observed intakes associated with the lowest risk of cardiometabolic mortality in observational studies, they said. For men, too much processed meat, sodium, sugar-sweetened beverages, and not enough nuts and seeds and omega-3 fatty acids were the biggest factors associated with cardiovascular and metabolic deaths, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes. In women, it was excess sodium, not enough nuts and seeds, not enough vegetables, fruit, and omega-3 fatty acids were the top dietary factors top five linked with death for women but men like it was sodium sugar sweetened beverages women the beverages not so much sodium yes sodium and no meat, meat less meat for women it was not the top five men like meat salt soda pop and 86 the fruits and vegetables and then we wonder why we're in so much trouble. This study um, came after there was another study done back in 2015. It was published in The Lancet. 
And the headline on that study, many of the headlines read, poor diet, highest contributor to early death. Same theme, diet and death. Hippocrates said, let food be your medicine and medicine your food. We're not, can I have those um, promos a minute? Uh, I wrote a 30. I need the 30. It's right over there. It's right in front of you. I was writing promos for the show. I, was, I used that theme. Over 2,000, thank you. Over 2,000 years ago, Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine, said, let food be your medicine and medicine your food. Unfortunately, food is now scientifically documented as a major risk factor for many chronic diseases leading to ill health and early death. Or on this show, you'll learn about the diet disease connection and what you can do to make food your medicine rather than your prescription for disease and poor mature, premature death. Food. Food has consequences, man. They say, oh, I know that. You don't need to tell me, Captain Obvious. Really? I had somebody say that to me one day. A lawyer. Yeah, I'll give you Captain Obvious. You know where he ended up? Quadruple bypass. Yeah, then he wanted to talk to me. Yeah, that's what he said to me one day. I know that. Cap he called me Captain Obvious. Uh, yeah, it's so obvious it escaped you. I guess you realized when they were opening up your chest. That's when he realized. Looking for the perfect complement to your beauty regimen? Try Form Essentials Zinnia. The finest of its kind, Zinnia offers twice as much biotin as other formulas, which has proven to unlock the vibrancy in even the dullest of hair, skin, and nails. Zinnia breaks through and rejuvenates cells internally, helping you achieve the allure of effortless beauty. Reviving your hair, skin, and nails has never been easier. This essential blend of biotin, alpha-lipoic, and hyaluronic acid, collagen, and vitamin C creates lasting enhancements to your natural good looks. Don't go on wondering. You're worth the results. This combination of ingredients can only be found in Zinnia. Pamper yourself with a proven bit of affordable luxury and start looking your best. Ask for Zinnia by name at your nearest vitamin retailer to begin your journey to restored nails, head turning hair, and radiant skin today. For more information, visit formessentials.com. When your alarm goes off, do you jump out of bed with excitement? Or does it take multiple alarms, a few snooze buttons, or a morning caffeine fix to get you going? These habits and daily stress cause a vicious cycle in which sleep becomes increasingly elusive. In fact, 54% of Americans report struggles to fall or stay asleep. For a better night's rest, look no further than Solace, an all-natural dietary supplement that supports healthy sleep and relaxation so you get the rest you need to wake up clear-eyed, alert, and ready for the day. Solace has given thousands a better night's rest and the power to take back their mornings while enjoying the day ahead of them. Solace is formulated with non-addictive, scientifically proven, all-natural ingredients that support sleep and relaxation, such as melatonin, tryptophan, and 5-HTP. For more information or to order Solace, visit takesolace.com. Solace, for healthy sleep naturally.
talking about the diet and disease connection, referenced uh, two studies, just two, a recent one published in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association, and the other back a couple of years ago in the Lancet. It was uh, the uh, uh, part of the Global Burden of Disease Study, which, by the way, is the most comprehensive worldwide observational epidemiological study to date. It is a great piece of research. They do it, it's in a series. It, what it does, it describes mortality, morbidity from major diseases, injuries, and risk factors to health at global, national, and regional levels. It ex, it's examining trends from 1990 to the present. And in the um, study, and back in 2015, uh, recent. They looked at 14 dietary risk factors, including consumption of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts and seeds, milk, processed meat, sugary drinks, fiber, which is going to come up today with my guest, Dr. Jason Mitchell, calcium, salt, seafood, and different types of fat. Overall, high blood pressure was the number one risk factor associated with global death. And that's primarily a diet-related disease, although genetics can be involved. High blood pressure, smoking, high body mass, in, body mass index, high blood sugar levels, diet high in salt, diet low in fruits, ambient air pollution, household air pollution, and high cholesterol. One more for the top 10. Alcohol. Those are the top 10 risk factors linked with early deaths worldwide. High blood pressure was number one. Let's see. High body miss, mass index, high blood sugar, and that's three, salt, fruit, four, five, six, seven, seven associated diet-related causes there, or risk factors. Diet and disease. It's ironic. Hippocrates said, let food be your medicine and medicine your food. We're letting food be a prescription for disease and early death. Ah, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Just saying. My guest is Dr. Jason Mitchell. Uh, Dr. Mitchell is a regular guest on Let's Talk Nutrition. And uh, I'm sure he'll have a thought or two about what I'm re about this diet disease connection. I would, like, we, I would like to put the emphasis on, and you can, on diet and how it, you know, Hippocrates said over 2,000 years ago, let food be your medicine. It's right there. Dr. Mitchell, welcome back to the show. It's great to have you on. Your thoughts. Thanks, Dr. Cargo. You know, well, you know how passionate I am about food as it relates to um, health and wellness and the challenges that we face in society. And, you know, we've talked about this in numerous times. In fact, my doctor dissertation was on whole food nutrition. And what's interesting is that, you know, uh, we've created in our society not a bunch of people that are choosing to eat incorrectly, but food engineers and designers of food have made it so that the food is actually ad addicting. And so we literally have a bunch of high functioning addicts on high sugar, high salted foods, because they know that when you can use certain amounts of sugar and certain amounts of salt, you can trigger this, I have to have it re reality with consumers that, that it's very difficult for them to depart from eating the wrong foods. In fact, all these prepackaged processed foods and you know what's really funny is if you if you were to look at statistically 80% of the 80% of the food that is existing on the store shelf in a grocery store today has excessively high added levels of sugar. Sugar and this was at the Auckland School of Medicine, Princeton University as well as other universities have shown that sugar is more addicting than heroin, cocaine, cigarettes. They've compared it to some of the most toxic and addictive substances that we all think are the most addictive, but yet sugar still tops the list as the most addicting. And so when you think about this as sugar being one of the largest contributors, in my opinion, globally to, um, you know, I, I would say early death, because I believe that without some of these foods with high processed sugar content so high, people wouldn't be dying as young. They wouldn't be dying as as heinously of challenges that truly can be avoided by the diet. And you know, I love that phrase that you brought up about Hippocrates saying, let food be that medicine. You know, I do a lot of lectures and I talk to some people and it's kind of interesting 
there's there's a really neat little um, story that if you remind people about it, that everybody knows about it. For example, it's um, Irish sailors used to cross the ocean, you know, many many you know hundreds of years ago. And when they when they when they crossed the ocean, they were in sailing vessels, so it would take quite a long time to get to their destinations. Well, they used to eat limes to to uh, to to abate or to reduce the risk of scurvy. Well, the funny thing is, is they didn't suffer the death or the challenges back then of scurvy. But see, modern day researchers will say, we want to know why a lime works the way that it does. So then they, they look at the lime and they extract out and they say, you know what? It's ascorbic acid or vitamin C. Well, then you fast forward a few decades and they say, you know what? Bioflavonoids are really important to make vitamin C work. And, and if you put this all, you look at it, the lime has the bioflavonoids and the vitamin C all together. And then they fast forward a few more decades and say, well, there's other cofactors that would make it even work better. And if you look at people today, they'll tell you, you know, maybe we should just eat the lime <laughs> and not worry about extracting all the sure. pieces because nature already has this beautiful thing. Yeah. So when we engineer food, people engineer illness. It's just the way it is. Yeah, it's interesting. Let food be your medicine and medicine your food. And we let food, you know, now food has become, food. A, pres <laughs> has become a prescription for yeah. disease and early death. It, it's ironic how something that is fundamental and necessary, essential to our existence, becomes such a can become the demi our demise. Uh, yeah. I, it, it, you can't make it up. I know the obvious sometimes escapes us, but nevertheless. But this implicates what you do for a living, I believe, yeah. in that the Western diet that is now a highly processed uh, diet with uh, lots of sugar, lot of fat, high, uh, unhealthy fat, high in fat, a lot of processed meats, luncheon meats. I could go down the list and not, a, not, not very many fruits and vegetables leads to uh, the absence of fruits and vegetables. The consequences are, are manifold, of course, but to digestive health, people don't realize what's happening uh, to them digestively by eliminating fruits and vegetables. This is where you can come in and make a contribution, right? Absolutely. You know, it's funny, you know, it's not just food be the medicine, but it's that it be real food, not the processed, prepackaged, bioengineered food. Food that has grown, that has been rooted in the earth. Things like fruits, vegetables, seeds, legumes, sprouts. Um, and if meats and different things, healthy meats and healthy um, fatty fatty fish that have the good fats and and so many of these really wonderful things, not the prepackaged, bioengineered, boxed Franken food that we unfortunately eat so much of. You know? Sure. When we come back, we're going to go to Bradenton, Florida. It's pretty nice there, and we're going to talk to Scott. I believe he has a question. We'll we'll talk to him. We'll continue our conversation with Dr. Jason Mitchell, and we're going to do this today, coast to coast. Don't be stressed out or anxious. Take Hempinol, the only raw CO2 hemp extract available. It's 100% organic with wild oregano P73 extract. You might have heard about CBD, but there's no comparison. Hempinol has the power and potency you need to support your nervous system, stay calm and focused, and maintain a healthy immune system. Unlike other CBD oils, Hempinol contains the full spectrum of phytocannabinoids. Take Hempinol and feel great. And if you suffer from insomnia and can't seem to get that full night's rest, try Hempinol PM. Hempinol PM is specifically formulated to get you the rest you need without feeling sluggish when you wake. It's non-addictive, completely natural, and leaves you feeling energetic and ready to take on the day. To place your order, to find out where to find Hepinol in your area, call 1-800-243-5242. 800-243-5242. Or visit us at oregano.com. If you've ever had digestive issues slow you down, it's time to live digestively with the number one high-potency probiotic, Ultimate Flora. Because with 50 billion live cultures inside you, life feels a little lighter, a little livelier, a little more you. No matter where life takes you, live digestively with Ultimate Flora Probiotics from Renew Life. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Number one probiotic brand with 15 billion or more cultures based on annual sales. 
how can a sweet little fruit gummy help you live digestively? Ultimate Flora Probiotic Gummies put the ultimate natural digestive support to work inside you to help you feel a little lighter, a little more you. And if raspberry lemonade's a little more you, feel bubbly in a good way with Ultimate Flora Probiotic Fizzy Drink Mix. Ultimate Flora Probiotic Gummies and Fizzy Drink Mix, two great ways to live digestively, deliciously. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Feeling tired after your meal? Occasional gas, bloating, or indigestion at inopportune times? You may have an enzyme deficiency. Did you know that many common digestive discomforts can be caused by poor digestion? When food isn't completely digested, it begins to ferment in the digestive tract, which may cause uncomfortable symptoms. Digest Gold, America's number one selling enzyme product, offers unparalleled support for your digestive needs. It contains exclusive blends of enzymes optimized to be three times stronger and work more than six times faster than other leading digestive supplements. With just one capsule per meal, Digest Gold offers support to break down carbohydrates, fats, fiber, and protein. Enzymetica products are all natural, vegetarian, contain absolutely no fillers, and are vegan and kosher when possible. You'll find Digest Gold and other Enzymedica products at fine health food stores near you. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Want to get at the core issues that make weight loss so difficult? Try PGX from Natural Factors. This revolutionary product is clinically shown to help people achieve their ideal body weight in a safe, natural way. PGX helps you feel full for hours, dramatically reduces the glycemic index of any food or meal, and ultimately causes the release of the compounds that achieve two important goals in weight loss. One, telling your brain that you're satisfied so you eat less, and two, improving the action of the hormone insulin. As medical doctor Mark Hyman said in his best-selling book, Eat Fat, Get Thin, if you choose to use only one supplement, PGX is the most important. If you've ever tried to lose weight and failed, you need the tremendous support of PGX from Natural Factors. For more information on making your weight loss dream a near effortless reality, visit PGX.com. Still looking for your fountain of youth? It's Zinnia. Look no further than the beauty aisle of your favorite health and nutrition store. Zinnia is the newest product from Form Essentials, the brand that brought you solace. So you know it's filled with the highest quality ingredients. Many cosmetic products only treat topically, while Zinnia addresses aging and hair loss from within. Formulated to support the growth of radiant hair, skin, and nails, Zinnia is sure to help you turn back the hands of time and assist you in aging gracefully. Zinnia provides a spectrum of key vitamins and other evidence-based natural ingredients ingredients such as alpha lipoic acid, biotin, and collagen and elastin peptides, all combined in one capsule for your convenience. By promoting beauty from the inside out, you're strengthening your cells and creating a lasting enhancement to your natural beauty. Zinnia fits into your daily routine and can be taken to boost your current cosmetic products. Available now at leading health and nutrition stores. Ask for Zinnia by name. Start taking Zinnia hair, skin, and nails today and get ready to look amazing. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Jaro Formulas, superior nutrition and formulation. Natural factors where great health begins. Kyolic, aging makes the finest garlic truly odorless. A. Vogel, Europe's leading brand of herbal medicine. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. And you're listening to Let's Talk Nutrition with Dr. Michael Garko. Don't forget, you can call in at 877 877- Eight nine seven eight two five five, just like Scott and Bradenton did. Scott's on the line for you, Doc. Thank you, Scott. Welcome to the show. It's great to have you on. Good morning. Good m- I hope you're doing well. I'm doing fine. Thank you very much. Thanks you for asking. Yes. Uh, first off, in reference to what your guest had said about the sugar addiction, I can attest to that. I've tried to stay away from as much sugars, candies, and things like that. But when I Give in, I just want to keep going. <laughs> oh, and that's difficult. You're not, you're not alone. Yeah. <laughs> you're not alone. Uh, I feel you, brother. The, 
<laughs> uh, the main reason I called in is I was listening to another doctor over the weekend on his show, yeah. and he was talking about using curcumin, fish oil, and coconut oil to uh, help combat Alzheimer's. Okay. And it was a study he had read, and I don't know if you'd heard anything okay. about it. Was, it. was it all three in combination or different studies for each compound? Or it was the, 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 the three of them together. Okay. Well, I can tell you that there is, if you go on PubMed, uh, which is the um, a site that I use all the time, the U.S. National Library of Medicine National Institutes of Health data, it's a uh, data set, if you are a resource, um, there are numerous studies on curcumin, the effect of curcumin on Alzheimer's disease going back a number of years, even now in 2017. There are studies on fish oil, and I'll leave it to Dr. Mitchell to tell you about, I can't comment on coconut oil and Alzheimer's. That I'm not so sure, but the three in combination, I don't know. Dr. Mitchell, what do you think? Well, you know, it's really tricky, Dr. Garko, to answer questions like that, too, because theoretically, we have to be very careful answering about disease states like that. But yeah. to be fair, I'm not exactly um, sure as to the research, as I, you know, because I haven't reviewed it myself, on what that link might be. So unfortunately, when it comes to coconut oil and that particular challenge, I'm not, not so sure I'd be the right one to answer it, because I do <laughs> love coconut oil. I think coconut oil is incredibly valuable. There's many different assets. Um, held within the beauty of coconut oil, but as it's direct link there, I just am not aware of the information. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, the coconut oil, I'm not sure about. Uh, I went on PubMed and I found a number of studies that, with the keywords coconut oil and Alzheimer's, uh, I have not looked at to see. That doesn't mean that those are all showing a positive correlation. They may show a negative correlation. Um, I don't know. I, I'd have to look. But that's an interesting combination uh, of compounds to put together. Are they saying that because it has omega-3s in it? No. No, no omega-3 in coconut oil. It's, you know, it's, uh, you're, you're talking about saturated fat uh, type of... That's, and it could, have a link to me it could have a link to medium chain triglycerides. Yeah, and, and yeah MCA. In high concentrations. That's right. Yes, he did ma mention the medium chain triglycerides and his uh, talking about it. Yeah, MCAs. Right. That's right. Yeah. Um, are you concerned about it? Are you personally concerned about Alzheimer's? Yes, sir. Um, both my parents had it, and I'm over 60 already and starting to have memory issues. You are. Hmm. Uh, may I ask, um, maybe this is, if this is, if this question is too personal, don't answer it. Just, I'll move on. Um, when did you, when did, I, I'm just curious. A lot of people don't share that. Uh, and many want to ask and they're afraid to ask what that's about and what that's like. Uh, can you provide a little bit of insight into that experience? If you're inclined, if you're not, that's okay, Scott. Uh, well, uh, you mean my personal experience yes. of having two yes. parents? No, no. My personal? Yes, okay. You're, you. you. Um, I'm noticing, well, I've never had a great short-term memory, uh, especially for names, uh, and it's getting worse. Mm -hmm. um, other things, I they drift in and out of being able to recall uh, things. I may need... Um, shall we say, priming to get a memory to recall. Yeah, a little coaching uh, and nudging, yeah. Yeah. Um, and just general forgetfulness of, you know, everybody talks about going from one room to another and forgetting why you walked in. Yeah. That's getting worse. Um, mm -hmm. General things like that. Have you had any studies done on your brain to determine? No, sir. I, you might want Can to I explore... Go ahead. Go ahead, Dr. Mitchell. Dr. Carr, you know, I want to just say something, you know, and Jack, I, I want to encourage you on one thing is that, you know, having an ability, an inability to recall a particular name or, um, mm -hmm. but, you know, once primed, you can actually pull it. Um, having, you know, a little bit of forgetfulness here and there, you know, I, I do understand the, the family history and things of that nature, but, you know, the best thing to do is probably get accurately tested because, you know, there is what I call CRS, can't remember stuff. You know, it just happens. It's not, <laughs> yeah, oh, you know, yes. it's not really, 
you know, it's not really necessarily indicative of having a disease. And sometimes the stress that we carry around with our, uh, you know, with us, based on the knowledge of our parents having certain challenges, you know, where things do have genetic predisposition, it's true. Believe me when I tell you that it is not always a 100% guarantee that genetics pass on identically, that you are just have to forego, that you are going to have to suffer this. But the oh, yeah. stress that you I, carry... I understand that, but be, I'm yeah. also... I'm, I understand that. Um, I also am seeing uh, similar things happen mm-hmm. that I watched my it's parents, parents. have happen mm-hmm. um, to myself, yeah. and want to would like to stay on top of it sure. and do whatever I can to prevent the sure. advancement of it. Sure. Uh, even if even if I don't get it, um, whatever I do can only be a help. Now, I don't know if you're familiar, but uh, they've been on my show years ago. I should invite them back on. Uh, South Florida, at the University of South Florida, uh, South Florida Health. It's called the South Florida Health Bird Alzheimer's Institute. It's right up there on um, Fletcher Avenue. If I last recall, there, I saw the, the, the Bird Institute, B-Y-R-D. Alzheimer's Institute. It's on at the University of South Florida. Have, are you familiar with that? organization no i am not you should look into it i will byrd bird alzheimer's institute university of south florida please stay in touch uh and and keep me updated i appreciate your concern and um i have a great deal of empathy and understanding for what you're experiencing and uh we would like to uh nothing else see if they can help in some way uh either to learn if if you are indeed down, going down that road or not, and maybe what you can do. They're very, very good, by the way. They do wonderful research. Give them a call. You never know. In the meantime, thank you so much for your call, Scott, and I wish you the best. We're going to come back. We're going to talk with Dr. Mitchell. Given what we were talking about, the, the diet and disease connection, and how the diet is so lacking in fruits and vegetables, there's a consequence to that, as many, and... You know, probiotics eventually gets woven into that narrative. LTN, coast to coast.
<laughs> Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Great to be with you. Thanks for tuning in. Start off the week. And uh, we're happy that you're there. We're delighted to be here with you. And I've got the crew is here. Gary, Stephen, goes from Christmas past. Dr. Mitchell is here. And uh, it's all good. And, uh, you know, this diet, diet and disease connection, it's unfortunate I have to we can talk, we can flip that, of course, this diet and health, obviously. But it is, we keep looking for all these magic therapies, potions, cures, whatever. Magic in a bottle, magic in whatever. The magic is in food. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. That's where you begin. And it, it, food is a, is a two-sided coin. Good and bad. Food can be your medicine, as Hippocrates suggested. And then food can be your prescription for disease and early death. Make no mistake about it. We have an abundance of evidence to support my assertion. And it becomes, food becomes a disease in the absence of, why? Of vegetables, a diet high a plant-based diet. I didn't say sign- totally. You can allow, you know, Mediterranean diet allows for meat. Okinawan, a little bit of meat. But when they serve dinner, there's not a, you know, a porterhouse steak that would fit on the, the, the would you need a, a hubcap from a 55 Buick to put it on. And that's the meal. It's the other way around. You can put the, the portion of meat in a very small plate if you wanted to hmm. and it's mostly vegetables and that's what it is hmm. I'm just saying and when the diet is absent of fruits and vegetables vegetables in particular you run in to problems that you go down that road and people are mystified why all these digestive disorders Dr. Jason Mitchell can tell you a thing or two about that. And you end up with a probiotic deficiency and all the consequences associated with that because fiber is found in in a plant-based diet and you need the fiber to feed the microbiome. Fortunately, we have companies such as Probulin to help for people who are deficient in plants, not in their yard, for their plate, call the show. You can reach us at 877-897-8255. That's 877-897-8255. Dr. Mitchell, take your calls during the segment. So anytime. Yeah, we have Skip Holding. We'll get to him uh, probably on the other side of, this, of the messages at the quarter hour when we bring Dr. Mitchell on. Dr. Mitchell, welcome back. Um, you're... You said something the other day, uh, it was nice the way you said it, supplements are a supplement, not a substitute for food, correct? Well, yeah, you know, I, the phrase that I love saying is, you know, they're supplements, not replacements. Re- there you go. That's what it was. You know, you know and, and the reason why I say this, you know, I, I have a lot of people that I, you know, when I talk to and I do lectures around the country and they talk, you know, I've got, I want to lose some weight. What can I take? <laughs> you know, to, to help me lose my weight. And I say, okay, that's a very good thing. I said, you can take, you can take um, notice of the fact that you need to deal with the fork-to-mouth syndrome. But when it comes to, you know, and what I mean by fork-to-mouth syndrome is choosing better what goes in your mouth. Because food is the primary thing that we all need to be focused on. You know, so desperately we look for replacements in our everyday life, things that can replace what we're currently doing, hoping to give us better, you know, better, a better outcome, when in fact the answer has always been there, and that is that we need to take more, or we need to put more effort into looking at the things that we eat and the way that we live, and as a result, we can live better. You know, you talked about food and about fruits and vegetables and things of that nature that have fibers and all these other things. I mean, there's so many different complex elements that exist in real food. I'm not talking about prepackaged food. I'm talking about the real food, right. produce, healthy meats and, th- and healthy fish and so forth. Um, you know, really, really good quality foods. And when you, when you contrast that with gut health, when what you put into the gut 
promotes the growth of bad organisms, things like yeast and other you know, pathogenic organisms, it's not a big surprise that we have some digestive challenges, things like indigestion and acid reflux and, and you know, diarrhea and constipation, and then, then it gets more serious into some inflammatory conditions of the digestive system. It's not a big surprise that we have all these challenges. But, you know, it's funny. When we look at this, probiotics everybody think of as a supplement. I like to change that. I like to flip that a little bit. Probiotics are kind of like whenever you take a probiotic supplement, it's almost like you're adopting pets. And I know I've said this the last, the last time, you know, every time we've talked about probiotics and we, we chuckle about it a little bit, but inside that capsule are a bunch of living organisms. Much like we are alive, they are alive as well. They are, they are organisms that are there that symbiotically must have us to survive and we need them to survive. And it's kind of like these really unique, um, I guess you could say, renters. I mean, they're, they're basically taking up residence inside of us, working together with your body to do, you know, to do good things. <laughs> but if we don't deliver the right resources and we don't take care of or cultivate the proper real estate, we unfortunately end up in a situation where our digestive system isn't aptly supported. And because of that, it creates all kinds of different challenges. And that's why probiotic supplements and probiotic beverages and all these different things have become so popular uh -huh. because people want to replace, or, or I should say, provide an alternative to what they're dealing with. Yeah. And, and, and probiotic supplements are definitely a way to do that. Probiotics, te the... Uh they, you, you correct me if I have this wrong. I'm sort of working from memory here. If I, so if I get the terminology, the exact definition wrong, you correct me. But as I understand, they're microorganisms. They're living organisms, microorganisms yeah. that uh, confer a health benefit when consumed. I think WHO, I think, or somebody defined it that way. And, yeah. um, but they are microorganisms that can confer a health benefit. Is that generally what they are? Yes. You know, it's, it's interesting. When you look at what these micro, I mean, we, you know, they're also often referred to as microflora, good flora, microorganisms, good bacteria, beneficial bacteria, probiotic bacteria. They're basically all saying the same thing. And these are living organisms that when inside the body, they do a lot of wonderful things. You know, when you start to look at what they can do, they can help you with digesting your food. Um, they can help with minor pH changes, making it difficult for pathogenic organisms to survive. They work very clicky, if you will, um, where they band together as organisms, even though they might compete against each other, but against a pathogen, it's almost like siblings. Siblings will fight over a hairbrush, but when an intruder invades the home, they'll band together. You know, it's just a matter yeah. of the fact that they have an ability to defend. And if you were to break down how they do it, it would almost be a sci-fi movie. It's really quite amazing. These living organisms help to protect you. And, and, and the fact that they're there, the fact that we need them, means that we have to be really responsible about what we put in our mouth to make sure that we support this healthy environment. Otherwise, there will be consequences. Now, the term okay. probiotic is not associated yeah. with this man I'm going to mention, but it came into common use somewhere around uh, after 1980. But the concept of these microorganisms conferring a health benefit is associated with the Nobel laureate Eli Machinkoff. And I found a photograph of him, and I was so taken by the photograph. And if Gary can get it up, he'll, he'll show it to you. Uh, he first suggested the possibility of colonizing the gut with beneficial flora in the early part of the 20th century. The photo of him is classic. I mean, it just looks like he stepped out of central casting and if we can't get it up on this segment, we'll get it up on the next segment. Um, <laughs> he's a, sci a scientist of the first order. Uh, and his name is even great. Eli Menchinkov. Right? Great. Great name. Strong. And he looks just like his name. And we'll show you when we come back. But so smart. And he focused on yogurt. And, yeah, that's where this you know, good tracks all the way back to him. We'll be back, LTN Coast to Coast. At Country Life Vitamins, we've been helping people live happy, healthy lives since 1971. And we believe integrity should always be our number one ingredient. 
We are committed to this belief because you deserve high quality nutrition, specifically crafted with the highest standards to support your health. Country Life's manufacturing facility is an NSF GMP registered facility, as well as USDA certified organic, so you can feel good about the products you're taking. Country Life Vitamins is also the first supplement company in the United States to have a complete line of products certified gluten-free. That's over 500 products. Country Life Vitamins Pledge of Integrity is based on five standards. Authenticity, cleanliness, freshness, consistency, and accuracy. Ask for Country Life's top-selling products such as Coenzyme B Advanced for increased energy or Flex Able for joint health. Country Life Vitamins' commitment to ensure all of our products are pure, wholesome, gluten-free supplements, full of natural goodness, provides peace of mind with the knowledge you are using a brand you can trust. Are you suffering from those awful allergies? Hay fever, sneezing, watery eyes. Here's some advice you won't want to miss. I'm a doctor, and my patients used to dread allergy season. But then I discovered A. Bogle Allergy Relief, a unique combination of natural ingredients that usually addresses every one of my patients' symptoms. And while it's clear that the vast majority of my patients benefit significantly from Avogol Allergy Relief, what's even more amazing is that after using it, at least half of my patients' symptoms didn't return. As a doctor, that's the kind of outcome my patients and I can appreciate. Get doctor-recommended Avogol Allergy Relief for your allergy symptoms. It's proven safe, it doesn't make you drowsy, it's fast-acting, and it may even help prevent your allergies from returning. Available at Vitamin Discount Centers, Richards, Rollin' Oats, Vitamin Shop, Nutrition Smart, and other fine health food stores. When you're passionate about your health, that passion leads to the knowledge that exercise and a healthy diet are not always enough. Sometimes you need the extra nutritional boost that only supplements can provide. If you are looking for the leading national brands of vitamins, supplements, health, and beauty, weight loss, or sports nutrition products, look no further than Vitamin Discount Center. Voted Best Independent Chain by Vitamin Retailer Magazine, Vitamin Discount Center has been a trusted and valuable nutrition resource to the Tampa Bay area for over 15 years. With daily savings up to 50%, Vitamin Vitamin Discount Center offers the best prices on the highest quality nutritional supplements. Not only will you find unbeatable value, your visit includes access to a staff educated on the application of products to help equip you with the products and information you need to proactively improve your health. To locate the store nearest you, visit vitamindiscountcenter.com, as well as access to articles on popular health topics, promotions, events, and thousands of products to shop from right at home. Your search for an affordable solution to better health is finally over. Vitamin Discount Center. For life for less. Feel tired, lethargic, or irritable? Take solace. You're one of millions of Americans that has trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. In fact, according to a national survey, 54% of adults have trouble sleeping. So what can you do about it? Take Solace. Solace is an all-natural dietary supplement formulated to support healthy sleep and relaxation. Solace can help you fall asleep and stay asleep naturally. Formulated with all-natural ingredients, Solace is non-addictive and won't leave you feeling groggy in the morning. Take Solace an hour before bed and feel the calming effects of this extended Extensively research sleep and relaxation aid. For more information on Solace, call toll free 877 533 7066 or visit takesolace.com. That's 877 533 7066 or take S O L U S.com. Look for Solace in your local health and nutrition store. Solace for a good night's rest naturally. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Alga Life, Algae for Life, CV Sciences, From Seed to Shelf, New Chapter, The Benefit of Nature's Wisdom, NeoCell, The True Science of Collagen, Yerba Prima, Pioneers in Internal Cleansing, Form Essentials, Makers of the Sleep Aid Solace, now introducing Zinnia for healthy hair, skin, and nails. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Back to Let's Talk Nutrition. Dr. Jason Mitchell is my guest. Let's go to Clearwater, Florida. Skip, thank you for holding. I, I typically don't let a listener wait that long, but uh, we got you on. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. Um, I had some anecdotal comments for the gentleman that called in that was thought his memory was slipping because of his uh, genetics. 
Yes. I uh, I consider myself extremely active. Um, probably got 15 projects going simultaneously, so the stress level was way up there. Mm-hmm. And I got to the point where I would consider the situation where any given moment I would be befuddled, unable to recall things, uh, unable to figure out what to do next, just mm-hmm. terrible. Mm-hmm. And I can tell you as a um, side benefit or side uh, uh, problem with that is you become extremely depressed, and that affects things too. Yeah, stress, as you stress, and depression. Some of these mm-hmm. uh, stressful mm-hmm. events that that are in your life, you can feel the memory come back. Mm-hmm. But I started Absolutely. doing research, and ginkgo seemed to help a little bit. And yeah, and it got to the point where ginkgo didn't help relieve the situation. I did some research, and what I found was that, according to Life Extension, a lot of people that are that are suffering from memory loss and this sort of situation mm-hmm. where they, they think they're in dementia or Alzheimer's are deficient on folate, they're deficient on B12, yeah. they're deficient on magnesium. And so I started using some of these products from... Uh, has it, life has it helped? Has it helped? Oh, of course. Okay. Within, Within a few days, a product they have called Memory Protect. Yeah. It's a 30, 36 day course. And in that course, there's 12 uh, colostrum, Acu Cal colostrum. Yeah, I'm familiar with the product. Okay. I've, I've heard others uh, talk about, and, and there is research, those compounds that you mentioned. Again, yeah, the, you, sometimes we try to guess. And Dr. Mitchell's recommendation to Scott, who called earlier, was my recommendation, too, that he go and get tested. If anybody suspects that they may be suffering memory loss, moving toward dementia, and they've had family members who have suffered from that disease, they, don't guess. Go to a, go to a uh, get checked. There's tests that they can run, and they can, they can give you insight and as I often say, as Bertrand Russell, often, I quote him all that quote all the time, I'd rather be mad with the truth than sane with lies. In other words, I'd rather know than not know. But your point is well taken, and Dr. Mitchell uh, can comment on stress and its effects. He knows a thing or two. Dr. Other, Mitchell. The other thing was that, that <laughs> yeah. I would like to hear from Life Extension as to how long you would have to take these products to maintain this. I've been maintaining now for probably 90 days uh, without any lapse, and that, and that's significant in my mind. Because sure, sure. It's it seems to be helping you. Cyclical event. <clears throat> sure. I mean, what you were experiencing could have been lifestyle-related and nutritionally related, and your points are well uh, taken, Skip. And I'm I am- a nutcase about the, the nutrition <laughs> part of it. I do a green smoothie. I ride. I'm very active. It's great. How old are you? 80. Good man. Seriously. Congratulations. That's good for you. You sound like a young man. Um, that's great. And I, you know, that your call is important because other people hear your experience and your story and they they find that, oh yeah, I, I can relate to that. Maybe I should consider this or that. That's that, you know, that caller talked about. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you for sharing your, your story. We appreciate it. We're grateful. Dr. Mitchell, you heard what he had to say about stress. Absolutely. You know, stress is, stress is, stress plays a massive role in breaking the body down. There's no question about it. I mean, it it just, it does. I mean, even in my own personal uh, testimony to that is that, um, a life of stress related to my professional career and things of that nature and the travel and everything that I was doing for such a long period of time, my body manifested a stress responding, you know, challenging state as well. And I ended up having to fight something about five years ago, which really truly inspired the whole launch of Probulus. Did, uh, and that did, was that I faced a disease called ulcerative colitis. And I do believe that there were some, you know, obvious medical issues that were in, that were in place, 
but I do know that stress played a massive role in my challenges. So when I, when I tell people, you know, you know, whenever they have a certain challenge, especially as the gentleman that came on earlier, not the gentleman Scott that was just on just a second Scott. ago, Scott, you know, it sounded to me that he was pretty clear. Um, but then again, I'm not an expert on Alzheimer's sure. by any means. He'd have to get tested. But the fact is, is that sometimes in our lives, we, we end up deciding that this is, this is what we're going to deal with because of some other pre-existing challenge or whatever, when in fact, I believe that you can pretty much, your body, if given half the chance, can battle just about anything. Getting tested is the first step, and after that, it's staying active and helping to deal with that stress, because stress in and itself can create a lot of memory issues. I mean, I'm 46, just turned 46 this weekend, and I got to be honest, I still challenge my, I, I get challenged by remembering things, especially under high stress situations. Absolutely. I have, I have a challenge of recalling things sometimes, and I think it's just natural. No, no question about it. And we come back, we'll, we'll deal, we'll talk a little bit more about that and how the stress affects the microbiome. If you're watching the show, no, that's not a relative of mine. That's it. <laughs> That's, Big Lazowski. E <laughs> that's Eli Mach Machinkoff, famous scientist. Ch check him out. Look at him. That's classic, man. You got to love that photograph. Nobel laureate, for sure. LTN Coast to Coast. It's no secret that as we age, our bodies go through. When your alarm goes off. Do you jump out of bed with excitement? Or does it take multiple alarms, a few snooze buttons, or a morning caffeine fix to get you going? These habits and daily stress cause a vicious cycle in which sleep becomes increasingly elusive. In fact, 54% of Americans report struggles to fall or stay asleep. For a better night's rest, look no further than Solace, an all-natural dietary supplement that supports healthy sleep and relaxation so you get the rest you need to wake up clear-eyed, alert, and ready for the day. Solace has given thousands a better night's rest and the power to take back their mornings while enjoying the day ahead of them. Solace is formulated with non-addictive, scientifically proven, all-natural ingredients that support sleep and relaxation, such as melatonin, tryptophan, and 5-HTP. For more information or to order Solace, visit takesolace.com. Solace, for healthy sleep, naturally. Looking for the perfect complement to your beauty regimen? Try Form Essentials Zinnia. The finest of its kind, Zinnia offers twice as much biotin as other formulas, which has proven to unlock the vibrancy in even the dullest of hair, skin, and nails. Zinnia breaks through and rejuvenates cells internally, helping you achieve the allure of effortless beauty. Reviving your hair, skin, and nails has never been easier. This essential blend of biotin, alpha-lipoic, and hyaluronic acid, collagen, and vitamin C creates lasting enhancements to your natural good looks. Don't go on wondering. You're worth the results. This combination of ingredients can only be found in Zinnia. Pamper yourself with a proven bit of affordable luxury and start looking your best. Ask for Zinnia by name at your nearest vitamin retailer to begin your journey to restored nails, head turning hair, and radiant skin today. For more information, visit formessentials.com.
Hey, let's talk nutrition wherever and however you may be listening or watching the show and whatever you may be doing coast to coast. Dr. Jason Mitchell is my guest today. Going to uh, occupy his time now with the quality and quantity issue related to probiotics. This is very, very important. And uh, we'll get to that in one minute. Gary's coming with me today. Uh, he's never been to a chemo clinic before. And today I start three more months of it. And it's for prevention purposes. And so he's going to come with me and um, see what that's like. Uh, it's a, quite an experience. I often say that people should be given one month of community service to go and sit. Just sit in a chemo room. You don't have to do it all at one time. It will change your view on life. And then, it, it, you know, it will, it brings perspective to things. So you're going to come with me today? I am. You okay with that? Yep. 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 I know. And now I know where I'm going. Okay. I mean, at first I was like, where are we going? <laughs> start up the road here. Peace. So uh, start today and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> the challenge. Dr. Mitchell, welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition. Quality and quantity, that is, those issues related to probiotics has caused a lot of confusion and marketing and misrepresentation and mix-up and so on. Yes? Yes, absolutely. You know, it's, it's really interesting. When you, when you look at, um, here's the good news, right? Because before we dive into this, I always like to preempt this by saying, if you were to, I mean, obviously I own a company called Probulin. We sell probiotic products. And yes, I would prefer that a customer choose my products over my competition. But the good news is that no matter what probiotic you choose on the shelf, they are all good probiotics. Now, some people are challenged by me saying that because they're like, no, there's certain companies that don't. And I'm like, no, even if the probiotic organisms inside the capsule are completely dead, they still as an organism, just being present, dead or alive in the digestive system, have an impact on immune health and motility. So they even have a positive effect in their passing. So it's a really good thing. Probiotics are quite wonderful. Now, what, now the real question is, which are the better? Which can work better for you? And see, in our society, we are so trained by media, marketing, and all these other things that if a little of something is good, then it just makes logical sense that more must be better, as if there's no other alternative. And, and, and with probiotics, they're measured in what are called billions of CFUs, which are colony-forming units, which means, to put it really simple, how many of these little colonies are you setting up as a resident in, your, in, in, in the microbiome, inside your digestive system? And, you know, the thought is, well, if a little of them can really help me with something, then if I take a bunch more of them, I'm going to be doing such a greater work for my body. And the fact of the matter is, is that the research that supports the use of probiotics, there are literally tens of thousands of studies. I don't know exactly how many. But I do know that there has been research to substantiate the fact that, you know what, it isn't necessarily true that taking more billions means that it's going to work better. How did they, fact, how did they go down that road? Were they just seduced by... The, the, the argument that more must be better, that would consumers thought that there were more of these micro... Or, is, that how, is that literally what took them down no, the road? No. I, I can't speak for each individual company that decided to go to this more is better reality because you can see products out there now that go 50, 80, 100, 150 billion, 200 billion, 400 billion. There's even a company out there claiming 1 trillion in potential. Oh, my goodness. Um, you know, it's just, it's crazy the numbers that we're getting to. And they substantiate it by simply saying, well, you know what? Your gut has trillions of bacteria. The estimations that I've heard are anywhere between 10 and 100 trillion. It seems 100 trillion seems to be the one that's sticking, but we do know that it weighs about five pounds, right? So we have these trillions of bacteria, but if you, if you were to, um, and, I, and I'll quote a very well-known, prominent uh, microbiologist by the name of Dr. Mark Brudnack, the author of The Probiotic Solution, he is one of my mentors in this space for certain. He's an unbelievable individual and what I would call one of the leading world experts on microbiology, especially as it relates to probiotics. And, and he'll even show you mathematically that, you know, even if you were to deliver one billion bacteria, 
they replicate about every 30 minutes given, you know, good healthy environment or, you know, relatively healthy environment and good, good amount of resources. And they'll, they'll replicate about every 30 minutes and then over a 24 hour period of time, that 1 billion can become over a trillion. So that the notion that taking hundreds of billions or, or massive amounts of bacteria just doesn't hold water because inside the digestive system, there is a finite or I should say a limited amount of real estate and a limited amount of resources at any given time. Mm. And see, the two things probiotics always kind of tussle about, and that is real estate and resources. And food, and right? So looking, is it food also? Well, resources, resources I, I call food resources because, you know, fibers and stuff like that are their food. So, mm. yeah, that's what I meant by resources I see. their food. And so the reason why I say this is because, you know, you, if you have a community – and you have a limited amount of food that you can drop into that community, but you have an, a literal unlimited amount of people that need the food, only a certain percentage of them will get it. And so that means that even if you did throw all this bacteria in there, there's only going to be a, a certain amounts of them that survive anyway. So there's a diminished return to what you actually take. Here's another reason why I think a lot of the companies went down this road. If I think they went down the road is that they're trying to be competitive against other companies. Mm -hmm. So if a company comes out with 50, someone's going to drop an 80 billion. If someone comes out with 100, someone's going to come out with 150. It's just this natural progressive element. But I additionally, see. they're starting to acknowledge that the, the mechanisms that they're using to deliver these bacteria, and what I mean by deliver is give them safe passage through things like stomach acid and bile, and, and then when they become rehydrated and things of that nature, these bacteria come back to life and and so on, because prior to that, they're freeze-dried, and they're kind of in a state of stasis, if you will. They're just hibernating. And so through all these different transitional elements, once you swallow that capsule, they, they put in these mechanisms, and they're finding out that these mechanisms, these delivery systems, things like enterocoding, delayed-release capsules, pearls, all these other systems, they're not necessarily yielding the results they'd hoped for, and that, the fact, they're getting very low percentage of surviving bacteria down into the single-digit percentage. And so when they look at this, they're like, well, Maybe we just need to put as much in there as possible, hoping that at least a small amount will survive. And see, you know, with, with us at Probulin, we, we, we thought that that doesn't sound reasonable. If we can just figure out what types of protection we can put in play, maybe these bacteria will have a better chance of survival. And therefore, a more modest amount of the bacteria will have a much greater benefit. And what's interesting is that the more billions not only comes with more counts in the capsule, but it also comes with a higher cost. And, you know, and if you look at consumer attitude and usage or attitude purchase, their biggest concern is how much does a product cost? And then from that, what am I going to get for that exchange in money? People are very concerned about what they're spending. And the sheer increase in numbers of these billions simply costs more, but it does not mean that it will do more work or work better. When we come back, what, the issue of quality um, and how it relates to probiotics. Uh, it turns out that Probulin, by the way, they have an interesting delivery system that gets the probiotics, these microorganisms, to their destination. Everybody arrives alive. <laughs> you are listening to Let's Talk Nutrition Coast to Coast. Are you waking up each day to the life you have to live or to the life you want to live? Better health shouldn't be left to chance. Smart choices to living longer and stronger include making Kyolic Aged Garlic Extract a part of your daily routine. For years, medical researchers have recommended adding Kyolic to the diet as a powerful tool to enhancing overall heart and immune health. Recent clinical studies at UCLA Medical Center using Kyolic suggest that garlic may slow plaque formation in the arteries and support healthy cholesterol and homocysteine levels. Previous research also shows Kyolic may enhance your immune system defenses. Kyolic is organic, odorless, and the only antioxidant garlic supplement available worldwide. Maintaining a healthier you could extend your life. Your wellness begins with Kyolic Aged Garlic Extract. Available everywhere fine nutritional supplements are sold. Visit Kyolic.com That's K-Y-O-L-I-C dot com. Or call 1-800-421-2998 for a free sample today. 
still looking for your fountain of youth? It's Zinnia. Look no further than the beauty aisle of your favorite health and nutrition store. Zinnia is the newest product from Form Essentials, the brand that brought you solace. So you know it's filled with the highest quality ingredients. Many cosmetic products only treat topically, while Zinnia addresses aging and hair loss from within. Formulated to support the growth of radiant hair, skin, and nails, Zinnia is sure to help you turn back the hands of time and assist you in aging gracefully. Zinnia provides a spectrum of key vitamins and other evidence-based natural ingredients such as alpha lipoic acid, biotin, and collagen and elastin peptides, all combined in one capsule for your convenience. By promoting beauty from the inside out, you're strengthening your cells and creating a lasting enhancement to your natural beauty. Zinnia fits into your daily routine and can be taken to boost your current cosmetic products. Available now at leading health and nutrition stores. Ask for Zinnia by name. Start taking Zinnia hair, skin, and nails today and get ready to look amazing. The latest trend to hit the store shelves has the whole country buzzing. Cannabidiol, or CBD, might just be the greatest discovery of our generation. And it comes from a plant that is not so new, agricultural hemp. Yes, after 70 years of prohibition and misunderstanding, hemp is back to help you stay healthy and balanced. Growing research is showing that we have a lot to learn from the remarkable hemp plant. Nutrient-rich products like Plus CBD Oil's Total Plant Complex concentrated products provide broad-spectrum nutrition, including fatty acids, plant sterols, cannabinoids, terpenes, and naturally occurring vitamin E. From seed to shelf, all Plus CBD Oil products provide the highest quality hemp-derived CBD products available and are offered in a variety of delivery systems and flavors to suit your needs. Ask your local independent health food store about Plus CBD Oil products by CV Sciences today and learn more about the CBD evolution at pluscbdoil.com. That's pluscbdoil.com. Did you know that the most common form of calcium supplement today is calcium carbonate, also known as limestone? You don't eat rocks as part of your balanced diet, so why would you choose to supplement your bone health nutritional needs with limestone? Our bodies understand and seek whole food sources of nutrition. New Chapter is proud to deliver Bone Strength Take Care, a calcium complex that delivers key bone health nutrients in the form of whole food, not rocks. Bone Strength Take Care also delivers key bone nourishing nutrients, including vitamins D3 and K2. Vitamin K2 is of critical importance as it ensures calcium is placed in the bone where it's needed and stays out of the arteries where it's not. Discover for yourself the whole food bone health alternative to rocks. Bone Strength Take Care, the best selling natural bone health supplement in America. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. The ever-increasing stress and toxicity we are exposed to from our environment, diets, and lifestyles make internal cleansing a necessary part of a good health regimen. Founded in 1980, Yerba Prima was the first company to launch a whole-body internal cleansing kit. Since that time, they have continued to develop and manufacture a complete range of all-natural, high-quality fiber and internal cleansing products. By using all-natural psyllium fiber and no harmful stimulant laxatives, all Yerba Prima fiber and internal cleansing products can be used over a long period of time to ensure optimal health and regularity. With nearly 30 years dedicated to all-natural cleansing products, it's easy to see why Yerba Prima is a leader in the fiber and cleansing products category. Learn more at YerbaPrima.com, Y-E-R-B-A-P-R-I-M-A.com, or visit your local health retailer. Yerba Prima, pioneer in internal cleansing products. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Jaro Formulas, superior nutrition and formulation. Natural factors where great health begins. Kyolic, aging makes the finest garlic truly odorless. A. Vogel, Europe's leading brand of herbal medicine. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome back. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Here's the LTN health question of the day. Uh, I've been talking with Dr. Mitchell about probiotics, and um, I was... I mentioned a, he was Russian, a Russian scientist uh, who was responsible, he's given credit, he's he's sometimes called the father of um, natural immunology, 
And uh, he was a zoologist, by the way, <laughs> and became interested in microbes and started studying the immune system. He's considered the father of natural immunity. But what was his name? Hmm. Was it uh, Nikolai, Nikolai Bazov? Uh, Igor Kurchatov? Or Eli Min Minchikov? Which one of those? I know they're hard to remember. Nikolai Bazov? Igor Kurchatov? Or uh, the last one, Eli Machinkov? Hmm? Eight you, seven. Go ahead. You can reach us at eight seven seven eight nine seven eight two five five. That's eight seven seven eight nine seven eight two five five. Yeah, he's he's credited uh, with recognizing that the gut, the the possibility of uh, having uh, colonizing the gut with beneficial flora early in the early part of the twentieth century. Who was that fella? Dr. Mitchell, welcome back. What about the Thank issue you. of quality relative to probiotics? Is there such an issue? Yes. Yeah, so when, when it comes to it, I mean, a good, a good uh, listen, a good number of the companies use quality strains of bacteria. And the use of quality strains of bacteria is vitally important, that they be properly um, scientifically validated, that they have um, good research and things behind them. But at the same time, we have to make sure that these living organisms make their final destination. It would be as if you went on vacation but never reached your destination, not much of a vacation. These bacteria must reach their destination for them to exert their full potential of benefit. And so what we did as a company with Probulin is that it, 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 the whole idea that more bacteria is better doesn't make sense. Better is better. And so when we looked at it, we actually um, developing this line of probiotics, and I did it hand in hand with um, Dr. Mark Brudnack, who is the architect of this delivery system, I did help him finalize the stages of which to make it marketable. We developed a system called the MacTrek 3D, and it's a three-dimensional system to making sure that we acknowledge there are several obstacles that get in the way of delivering these probiotics correctly, especially if the idea of more isn't better. What is the right dose? Well, the right dose is somewhere around 10 to 20 billion mm. per day. But now we have to figure out how do we deliver these properly. And so what we did is without the use of anything that has glutens, wheat, soy, dairy, um, we don't use any fillers or binders, magnesium sterate, steric acid, or phthalates or methyl acrylics used in enteric coating or delayed release capsules using modified gum or any types of these compounds, we did something all natural. We used an extract of seaweed. We used minerals like sodium, calcium, and potassium, also known as electrolytes. And we put them together and assembled them in a completely natural way, making sure that they can traverse these obstacles effectively, so that at the end you get a probiotic that really works. You know, so, so that's what makes it high. In, that's what makes it high in quality. Yes, because the bacteria themselves. I'm not suggesting that other companies don't use quality bacteria because they do. There's good bacteria out there. The problem is they're not able to deliver it properly, and so. We focus. We have three scientific studies that validate our delivery system. There are two patents that have been filed, one that's been issued. And right now we're in the process of, um, of uh, getting approved the protocol that is a human-based clinical trial that's going to be done at a major university here in the United States this year. And we're super incredibly excited about just proving even further that not only has Probulin figured out a way to deliver probiotics correctly, but that the end result is the, of good benefit, of great benefit to the person taking it. Now, we have several formulas, though. You know, we have one formula that's just like your everyday daily care formula called daily care. We have one for women's health that is really targeted at, um, for women's health, but men can use it as well. All right. And then there's one that's um, focused strictly at the colon health because the environment of the colon gets disrupted in so many different ways. Medications like antibiotics and, and all kinds of different challenges come as a result of things that we do. And supporting that colon environment with strong amounts of bifidobacterium are super important and very difficult to deliver. And with our delivery system, we can be very effective that way. We have one that's called Trim Synergy that's focused on, on helping with weight management, although I don't call it a diet pill because the only true diet is changing what you eat and how you live. But these products that we develop called Trim Synergy help to support somebody on that journey. So we have several products that are really truly intended to give the person using it a real benefit. You can go to by backing it with a scientifically validated delivery system that is incredibly important to making these work. And all of our products, with the exception of Trim Synergy, 
is designed so that you can take just one a day. You don't have to get complicated. It's okay. very easy and very easy to use. And Probulin is sold in fine health stores throughout the United States. Go to Probulin, Probulin.com, right, Dr. Mitchell? Absolutely, and you can find there's a store locator on there, and we're very much a big supporter of of people going and stop shopping at the stores, like Vitamin Discount Center and other stores local, you know, in areas or in, in Florida as well as all over the United States, because it's really important that you get good quality, um, I guess you could say, information. And we, as a company, Probulin, spend a lot of time educating the staff at these health food stores so that they know how to help that customer coming in properly. And that's one of the they advantages know. in shopping in brick and mortar stores. Uh, many of these brick and mortar stores like Vitamin Discount Center, and then there's up in the Philly area, a wonderful store up there, then in Georgia that we mention all the time. It's like shopping online, but better. Let's go to Clearwater, Florida. Roy, what's the answer? Eli Machinkoff. Eli Machinkoff. Congratulations, you won a $25 supplement gift card. Uh, Yeah, that guy set into motion. Little did he know what influence he would have uh, on people's health later on in his life. I mean, that's just remarkable. Thank you so much, uh, Roy, for listening to the show. Thank you for calling in today. We appreciate your listenership. Thank you. Uh, thank you. You're my pleasure. And thank you, Dr. Mitchell. Um, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's, uh, We always like having you on. And um, I know that you work very hard to educate uh, the consumer. And we, uh, we do encourage shopping in brick-and-mortar stores. The people that work hey, in these. Dr. Garko, I wish you, I wish you well on your next round, and I, I can't Aww. wait to hear the successes. So well, thank I you so you much. Well health, health yeah, I'm, I'm taking Gary with me today. He wants to see what it's like to be in a chemo room. Well, he's going to get educated. We'll see if we can share that with you. People ask me what it's like. We're not allowed to film there, but I have on occasion taken photographs of myself. Maybe we're going to document that somehow today without violating any rules. We'll share it. Yeah, it's part of being educated. Yeah, I just wish I weren't the uh, the visual aid here. <laughs> you are listening to LTN Coast to Coast. Your health is your wealth.